<laughs> hey folks, Jesse here with Southern Reels, and I just wanted to do another catch and cook video because I haven't done one of these in quite a while. And I have my lovely daughter Jojo behind the camera. Yeah, I appreciate that. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I went fishing yesterday and I caught some nice trout. Actually, one nice trout. Unfortunately, I only got one, but hey, you know, I'll take it. And I've already got it clean and everything is setting right here on this plate. We'll get a nice close up of that nice, fresh speckled trout. It's about 17 inches, so it's some pretty good size fillets. Um, and what we're going to do today is something I like to do. It's real nice, light, healthy. It's a good alternative to frying fish all the time, which I'm notorious for. It's uh, called a, a fish wrap, I guess you would call it. I guess we could call it a trout wrap. How about that? And it's pretty simple to do, actually. Now, I'm going to start with the fish first. I've had this out of the refrigerator for a while, so it can kind of come up to room temperature. And we're just going to use some Cajun seasoning. This is just cheap stuff from the store. I actually have had this bottle for quite a while. And we're going to season it liberally. Go ahead and get a nice coating on there because you want it to be kind of spicy. This is like a spicy trout wrap, basically. That's how this is. So we're going to put a lot on it. I know it looks like a lot, but it's going to be good. Kind of pat that in a little bit. Like so. And this is going to go right straight in the oven. As you see, it's seasoned nicely. Put it over here in the little breville. Um, I broil it when I cook it because sometimes when you bake fish, it gets that like foamy stuff that comes out on top of it and it really isn't too appealing look. And I found out if you broil it uh, for this type of cooking, it actually looks much better. So I'm gonna get that in the oven real quick. Oh, actually, I need the pan. Getting ahead of myself. I'm gonna use the pan for the oven here, of course. Got the rack in there, aluminum fold to help with clean up. I'm gonna spray it really good. Now, when I cleaned this fish, I didn't skin it because of the way, basically we're just gonna flake this fish uh, once it's done and put it on a wrap so there ain't no need to skin it. So I just left the skin right on. It'll help the fish, especially trout. Trout's notorious for falling apart, so. Get this in the oven. I have to kind of keep an eye on that as it's broiling just to make sure it doesn't get away from us. While that's going, we're gonna prepare the other ingredients. Basically we have carrot, green onions right here. Got romaine lettuce right here. And of course the wraps. These are the kind that I like because they're nice and thin. So we're gonna cut up the onions first. Just take off some of the top here. Toss that to the side. Same with the other end. Cut those ends off. Don't need all of that. And just dice these up nice and small. Ain't gotta be perfect. I like actually the green part as well on my food. So we're gonna cut all of that right up. I'm going to plate here. And it's got some onions there. Looking good. God, they smell good too. i got to skin the carrot, of course, real quick. Peeler. All right, let's peel that. And we're just going to chop these ends off. So I want this kind of grated up. That way it's just kind of like the texture of the onion. So we're just going to get the regular box grater. Got to go. Some little bulldog in here, curious. All right, next thing is the romaine lettuce. Basically, is what I use right there. I'm gonna pull this out. Get it ready as well. I get the thing out of the bag. I'm back. Come on, get out of there. Cut the very top off of it right there. Bottom off, and we're basically just gonna pull the outside few layers off that are kind of get that little brown nasty look to them. The rest of that looks fine. So we got that ready to go on the plate. Uh, throwing food on the floor. Those are eating carrots. That's an onion. You like that onion? Is that not really? <laughs> but I'm gonna eat it anyway. <laughs> All right, uh, next thing is a sauce, basically. It's not really a sauce. It's kind of like a spread that goes on it. Duke's mayonnaise, the only mayonnaise. You are recording all of this, right? I am. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna take a couple spoons full of the Duke's mayonnaise. Oops. I'll get that. Throw it in the bowl. Put it in a napkin, clean up my mess. We'll just edit that part out. All right. For the sauce, it's real simple. Same Cajun seasoning that I used on the fish. We're just gonna add it to the mayonnaise. We're gonna add a lot of it. So it's gonna be like a spicy mayo. 
mix that all up. Incorporate it real good. Give it a taste. That's pretty good. Put this up. I'm gonna check this fish real quick because I can hear it over here making some noise. Oh, that was looking good. I'm gonna get up, take a good look at that. Basically, as soon as it starts to flake, I know it's done. Nice and juicy. She's done. All right, grab a pot holder and get this out. Let that cool down some. That looks good. I could eat that just plain like that. All right, you kind of want to let the fish cool down a little bit before you put it on the wrap because you, you got nice cool ingredients and you don't want piping hot fish going on there, at least what I found. So I let it kind of chill for a minute or two. But while that's happening, we can go ahead and start building the wrap. So we're gonna grab us a plate. Throw that down. Take one of these wraps right out. I like them cold. I don't heat them up. Like I said, this is kind of like a cool wrap, basically. And I'm gonna take some of that nice mayo mixture. Kind of put some of it down as a base. Be liberal with it. That's what makes it good. I'm gonna take the romaine, pull a nice couple leaves off. I really, really like romaine because of the crunch of it. Lay it right down, like so. A nice bed for our fish. And at this point, this should be cool enough where I can grab it without burning myself. Ooh, still kind of hot. And basically all we're gonna do is just flake some of this meat off. Like so, and just add it right to it. Still a little bit hotter than I normally would like it, but I'm hungry. It'll be all right. Ooh, that is hot. Bring that up nice. I mean, you could put it up here in whole pieces. I've just always broke it up for some reason. How much you put is entirely up to you. That's about how much I like right there. All right, then we're gonna add the carrots. I like the carrots because they're sweet and they also got a nice crunch to them, similar to the lettuce. And the onions. I get very liberal on the onions because I like onions. That's it, and then we pretty much just kind of roll it up. Roll that side like that. Normally I would just go right to eating at this point. We're gonna cut it, get a nice picture of the middle. Add up like that, and there you go. Trout wrap. That's pretty good, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Are you hungry? Yeah. <laughs> All right. So we're gonna try it. Grab it up. And just get a big old bite. Mm. Yep, just as good as I remember. <laughs> All right, folks, that's it. That's the trout wrap. It's delicious, healthy. Like I said, it's a great alternative to frying. So try it and play with the ingredients. Do whatever you want. This is just kind of what I settled on, the mixture here. And it's delicious. Anyway, we're going to get off here because I know they're starving too. See y'all next time. Peace.